Hi again, Ian Dainty here. We're going to carry on with 101 marketing questions for business growth. Today we have question 30 carrying on in the marketing trend, and that is, what incentives are in place for your marketers? Now, again, we talk about a lot about marketing being uh, cut when they have a downturn, and we want to prevent that, and we want to give marketers incentives, and particularly in today's age with all the analytics that we talked about uh, in the last video, what incentives do you have in place for your marketers? I think they should be paid on a s similar basis to what salespeople are in place, and we'll talk about that. Uh, here's one I like. Uh, you worked all weekend to finish the report, and all I get is a stupid pat, and there's stupid pat on the back. So stupid pat jumps on his back. Well, there's nothing the matter with a pat on the back, and we'll talk about that in a sec, but we don't want something like that. <laughs> I thought that was a cute one. What we want to do is most people want a money incentive. However, we'll talk about that in a sec, too. So what you want to do is give people an incentive. So what are some of the things you can do to give people a marketing incentive? Well, obviously, it should be based on revenue and, or, and leads. Um, I think it should be based on both. You may want to give them a little bit more incentive for leads and revenue because they can't market or marketers don't usually close sales. Salespeople do. But you still want to uh, measure them on revenue because it's the uh, salespeople must work together with the marketers. And so you want to give them some incentive on that. But obviously, this is just an example about, you know, what they're graded on and uh, and how well their department's going to succeed. I believe in the 80-20 in the rule, uh, and of course this varies, it could be 90-10, it could be in some respects 50-50, I think salespeople should be paid 50-50, 50% salary and 50% incentive, uh, but because marketers don't close the deals, uh, and, and this is all new, I think 80-20 rule, so 80% salary and 20% incentive or commission or however you want to look at it, I think is a good rule, so that they are actually working towards helping the company succeed, which is getting more revenue. And many companies pay base on the reverse of this. I think you should base, if you're going to base it on the company doing well, the person should get an incentive for doing well, plus the department overall, because they have to work as a team, and plus the company. Now, this all depends on the size of your business, obviously. I know in large companies, it goes the other way around, where the incentive is based on how well the company does. And a lot of times in worldwide companies, you have no way of, of influencing that whatsoever. And then maybe your department and then you is third. So base it on that. Make it an incentive. Give the people the will to want to stay with you and to want to work hard with you. and that's what they, the 80-20 rule is based on. If you want some more help on that, then just let me know as I've worked with a number of companies in the past on incentive programs. Also, the, the 80 part, which is the salary, there should be some incentives based in that too, in the sense that I always did that when I had employees, is you have to learn certain things to help our business out over the years, which will in, in turn help you. Now, as an example, in marketing these days, social media is changing like crazy. So you could get your marketers to learn a particular part about social media. Maybe one of them learns about Facebook. Another one learns about LinkedIn. Another one is in charge of the website. And then you switch them from year to year so that they all know and can back up each other. But there should be an incentive in place. And I've always put a 10% incentive in place that, hey, here's what you got to do every month. You've got to learn this. Uh, or you got to do this, you got to perform this in, in a timely fashion. If you don't do, you don't get that particular part of the incentive. So it's a good way to make people work harder. And um, let's face it, it's all based on the company profits, and you want to uh, make people work harder and also give them overperformance. Uh, I always always believe in overperformance. So as an example, the 80-20 rule: if 20% of their if if they're 20% of their uh, what their compensation is uh, a commission base on the 20%, then what if they overachieve it by 20% or 100%? Then they should get more money. So, yeah, it takes work, but it really pays off in the long run as opposed to having HR um, decide who's going to get what. You should decide. Your department head should decide. The chief revenue officer should decide. So give people incentives for improving themselves. That's part of the uh, 80%, the salary part. Okay? That's always worked. It's worked for me. If you want some more information on that, please let me know. And this is always good. An attaboy, as we used to call it, or an girl, 
Um, and what it says is every like every month at the uh, at the longest, preferably every week or every two weeks, but every month at the longest, you should have a group meeting and give people a pat on the back. OK, not the big pat that we saw in the other. But just say, hey, here's something somebody did. Maybe give them a luncheon. Um, this is where they went above and beyond the call of duty, as the army would call it. And give them a pat on the back in public. Remember the old saying, praise in public, criticize in private. So anytime you have something to say to somebody that's a praise, get the group together and say, hey, this guy or this woman did this. And we want to just let everybody know how it helped us as a team, as a company, et cetera. OK, or they gave a suggestion or whatever it was. But attaboys and attagirls are a terrific way. People love them. And they're a lot less expensive, obviously, than the other way. But they also like the incentives, too. Just don't give people money at Christmas for the sake of giving them money. Let them earn it. Let them know why they earned it. And if they don't earn it, they don't get it. It's pretty simple. OK. And again, my favorite uh, one, and that'll give you success and that great uh, determination that you want in your business. Fist pump, we're ready to go. Let's compete against those guys and beat them. Yeah, I love this picture. Okay, for any questions, be uh, sure to contact me or email me or call me from the number below and, uh, and let me know. And please send in any questions you have and uh, we will answer them for you. I hope this is uh, helpful to you. Please like this so other people can see it and comment on it. Uh, I appreciate those too. Thanks a lot. Till next time.